Hi, this is Theodore Foss with a video on how to create a basic APA formatted paper in Word for Mac. First, let's follow best practices by going up to View Ruler so that we can have the ruler showing, which as you'll see will help us with formatting. And then we'll go up to the Home tab and the Show Hide button, which will tell us what's going on with formatting behind the scenes. So the way this works is every time you see one of these backwards P's, it's telling us there's a paragraph space. And every time you see a little dot like this, that's a character space telling us the space bar has been hit. An arrow like this means the tab key's been hit. And to give you another example, if I go up to insert page break, we can then actually see where a page break would occur. So I'm just gonna delete these markings now, and I'm gonna go up to home, and then to the show hide button again to get us out of the formatting visuals and we'll bring them up again when we need them. Now I'll just paste in some text to work with and hit control A to select all and then to start setting up the document we'll need to set the font to Times New Roman 12 point and then go up to this uh, vertical spacing button scroll down to line spacing options and spacing before and after both need to be set to zero to ensure we don't get any extra spaces between paragraphs. And then set the line spacing to double. So everything will be equally double spaced across the whole paper. Hit OK. And now we need to set the margins. So go up to Layout, Margins, set them to 1 inch or 2.54 centimeters all around. For the title page running head, we'll need to set a header that'll be different from the headers across the rest of the document. So do a quick double click into the very top of the page to bring up the header section and select different first page. Type the words running head with a lowercase h colon and a space and then type in the title of your paper. Select the title. Go up to the Home tab, to the letter case button, and hit uppercase. Now place your cursor at the end of your title. Go to Insert Page Number, and make sure it's aligned to the right, and hit OK. And there's your page number. And before you leave the header section, ensure that your font is Times New Roman 12 point, like the rest of your paper, and like it is here. Now do a couple rapid succession clicks to get outside of the header section and back into the main. Let's take a look at this little bit of title page text we've got here. We can see it's sort of centered, or at least it should be centered, but it looks kind of funny. So we'll need to hit the show hide formatting button to see what's going on. We've got a whole slew here of improperly formatted lines. We can see here that the top indentation on the ruler is moved way over to the right. There's tab markings a multitude of character spaces, and a combination of tab and character spaces. To fix these spacing problems, go up into the ruler, make sure it's set to flush left, and then remove all the tab and character markings so that all the text is aligned to the left. Select all your title page text, and under the Home tab, hit the Center Text or Align Center button. I'm going to get rid of this paragraph mark we don't need for now. Select the first line of your title page text, and then go up to the letter case button and hit capitalize each word to turn it into title case. The I and the N can just be lowercase, and the F and the 4 lowercase, since those are just little prepositions. Select the second line and do the same thing, because names should have uh, capitalized first letters as well except in this case uh, the Vaughn would be lowercase because of this particular last name. Do the same with the name of the course in the third line. And then we need to put an N dash between the name of the course and the course code. So hit option dash and put a space before and after the dash. And then for the course code, give it apps uppercase and remove the space between the letters and the numbers of the course code. For the teacher's name, you want to put the word professor and uh, capitalize each word. And then for the date, we need to 
put in the day of the week, as in the day you'll be submitting. So in this instance, that would be a Friday. So Friday, comma, then the month, the day of the month, comma, and then the year. So now let's put in a page break to divide the title page from the body. So go to Insert, Page Break. And now no matter how many times I hit the Enter or Return key, it's not going to push the body text forward, as you can see, which really helps to keep things organized as you're working on the paper. The last thing we need to do for this title page is push the text down four or five line spaces. And I'm just going to remove these uh, formatting marks so we don't have to look at them anymore. Now select the title again and copy and paste it into the top of the body and delete any extra spaces that might pop up. And if we scroll down the page, we see that we have something called justified alignment, meaning the words are spaced in such a way that the paragraphs are flush against both the left and right margins. So let's select all the text below the title and then ensure everything is left aligned or reg at right, it's also called. All paragraphs should be indented one tab space. So let's indent this first paragraph and then we'll grab this heading and we'll bold it and center it. And now we'll indent the next paragraph and the next one after that and after that, and here we have another heading, the conclusion, we'll bold that. We need to capitalize this one, and then we'll center it. And then we'll indent the last paragraph. And while we're at the bottom here, let's create a new page for when we get to the reference list. So go up to Insert, Page Break. And now we still need to put in the remaining headers for everything but the title page. So double click at the very top of your first body page to bring up the header sections. Go back into your title page header and copy the title of your paper without the words running head. Paste the title into your body header and then insert page number alignment right and hit OK. And now we have the running head properly formatted across the whole paper. At the top of your reference page, type the word references, center it, but don't bold it. So now we need to give each item in your reference list something called a hanging indent, and we'll need to put the whole list in alphabetical order. So we'll select the whole reference list, go up to the line spacing button, scroll down to line spacing options, and under indentation, go to special, and down to hanging. I'll make sure it's hanging by 0.5 inches, and then hit OK. And while the list is still selected, go up to the AZ button, click on it, and sort the list by paragraph, type text, ascending. And when we choose text, that'll of course put it in alphabetical order. And then hit OK. And here we have the whole reference list alphabetized and properly indented. If you'd like to add your student number, keep it right beside your name in parentheses. And we missed here that APA is an abbreviation, so we'll need to make it all caps. That's about it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And I'll let you know I'm creating a playlist right now going through all sorts of different types of references. I'll also be posting several videos taking a more in-depth look at things like um, reference pages, headings, in-text citations, and adding abstracts and appendices.